so this year was pretty interesting from Dr. Ben Goetze, where he's talking about the article. Um, about So the article talks about we need provably safe AGI. And this is basically his comment on, on this article. Provably safe AGI is potentially a very, very dangerous concept. Now let's go down here. What is the article about? The basic idea of the toward guaranteed safe AI paper what a name, guaranteed safe AI. <laughs> okay. Uh, explicitly and proximally is that an AI system should be described in terms of a formal mathematical logical world model, plus a formal specification of what the system is trying to do in the world, and a specification of how the system is architectured. The specification of desired system behavior should include ethical as well as other functional aspects. There should then be a formal mathematical proof that the system will in fact fulfill specifications assuming the world model is correct. <laughs> okay, that's quite a mouthful, right? That's quite a mouthful. So what he says is there are no ultimate guarantees that the world model provided will be correct, right? While the mathematical um, specifications can be correct because math, we can prove math. Right beyond a shadow of a doubt, we can make a mathematical proof, but we cannot prove that a world model is correct. The superintelligence might be able to easily poke holes in our attempts to formally describe the various aspects of our world and thus identify important reasons why our formal proof of safety don't apply in real life. Right, this is very, very important here. If we have a super intelligence that is much more intelligent than we are, then this intelligent intelligence could easily have a better understanding. If it has an actual model of the world, it could easily have a better understanding than we have. And this, our model of the world that we give this intelligence uh, is not correct. So uh, it can easily say, hey, no, the safety concerns don't even apply because the world models that you uh, assumed is not even correct in the first place. Um, good, so a few more things uh, important here about this article. So the technical work proposed in the paper would be a step in the direction of something I've been advocating for a long time, the fusion of symbolic and sub-symbolic AI. So sub-symbolic AI uh, are large language models because you don't have symbolic representations of everything. A large language model just gets feed with a ton of data and then it produces output. And within there is basically a black box. So you have data, black box, output. For symbolic and not a sub-symbolic, for a symbolic um, AI model, you have a symbol that represents everything. So you have a way better overview of what leads to what and how things are connected. Um, so yeah, just in general, this is also a very interesting uh, paper and a very interesting comment here. So you may want to read that as well fully. AI should come with formal mathematical demonstrated safety guarantees. Uh, there's clearly no feasible way to provide such guarantees except for quite narrow AI systems. So this is what the article is stating. And Van Gertel says um, only very narrow systems can guarantee something like that. And the article states we should hard progress AGI research and development until we have figured out how to give early stage AGI systems formal safety guarantees in practice. Um, I see probably safe AI as a potentially quite dangerous idea. Uh, why? Because the way this article is phrased uh, and uh, the way this comment also continues is when we have this guaranteed, probably safe AGI approach, um, this uh, is, is expected to be done only from a few companies under strict governmental control and is a very strict uh, developing AGI concept, which then, of course, has a huge concern that the development of AGI is in the hands of only a few companies. And this is not a good thing, right? This is not a good thing. Or does anyone here want to have, I don't know, open AI or the American government or any government as one entity who is in control of an emerging AGI of the most powerful technical system that, uh, that humanity has ever seen? Do you want to have any single entity in control over that? Well, I guess if you would that, you would not be here, right? So you all understand the dangers of this. Nothing to say about um, uh, more in this regard. 
So as he says, we should try our best to formalize our world models and AI system goals and architectures. We should try our best, but uh, it's not feasible to expect that we can fully do this to 100%. Um, yeah. This is not a situation like nuclear weapons or gen genetically engineered pathogens, where one is dealing with technologies whose primary purpose is evil, right? Yes, of course, it makes sense that a nuclear weapon is in governmental control, uh, because who want any company to be in control of a, of a nuclear weapon? But an AI system is very different because advanced AI, including AI adverting toward AGI, with executive functions, has tremendous and obvious potential to both do good for the world. The most reasonable path toward a beneficial future is not heavy-handed control of AI by, a, by mega corporations working closely with major governments, but rather democratic and decentralized guidance of the process of creating, deploying, and reaching increasingly advanced AI and AGI systems, which I think everybody here agrees upon. Discussions of prov provably safe AI in the current AI-AGI political landscape seem too often mix genuine interest in provable safe AI with use of the concept as a label in, as a lead into arguments for heavy AI regulation and corporate control, which is something we obviously do not want. And I also really like this quote here. Don't worry, don't worry. Nothing is under control, right? Perfect quote. Don't worry, nothing is under control. What we need is mostly creative co-evolution, not hierarchical control. At the top level, it's not control, but creativity, a creative evolution that got our species where it is today. If our current scientific understanding of the universe is remotely correct, we can never have fully provable safe AGI with power at the human level or beyond, right? Doesn't seem really possible because an AGI uh, by its definition would have its own intrinsic goals. Uh, and at one point by its definition in developing to AGI and uh, to ASI would be the best to program itself. And if, if it can program itself better than humans can, then we cannot put safeguards in place that it cannot circumvent. So having fully provable safe AGI by that definition is not fully possible. And as a, as a last statement, democratic decentralized open AGI free of corporate control and overly heavy government regulation is the best way to work toward advanced AGI systems. A very interesting article. I would recommend everybody to read it um, fully. I'll just put it in the chat right now if, if you want to. But this is also, this article from Ben Gertzel from a few days ago also shows, um, obviously he is very interested in pushing decentralized development of AGI forward. So don't worry, the merger will happen, okay? Calm down, the merger will happen. 